That's Kevin. right. The second one I can remember him having. Uh, the first one was uh, was a, you know a 48 or 47, but this one is a 51. It's a pretty nice car. Well, the next one is a 1948 Buick Roadmaster hearse yeah. named Mort. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mort was my first vehicle that I uh, when I that I owned. And I got, I bought for 125 bucks uh, out of a, a, a funeral home where they had a bunch of cars in the back, you know, and they were selling them. And I went in there, and there were two of them, and they were identical. And one had the blue interior, and one had a red interior. So I took the one with the blue interior. Yeah. Next one is, is your, your, your Lake Bolt. Look yes. at that. Now there's a fine car. Yeah, that's a wild car, all right. And it's a very special car. It. Uh, it, uh, it's taken me a lot of places. I mean, I drove that car all the way across the country without using any gasoline, if you can imagine that. It, it, it was known for not being able to go very far without stopping at a gas station. And, it's, it now operates on ethanol and batteries? It, op it operates on uh, elect an electric motor and a battery system, and uh, it has an eth cellulosic ethanol ge generator, which doesn't uh, affect the... Uh, food supply at all it's it's made from the waste of food yeah. and uh, so it doesn't have any negative impacts on anything except oil companies <laughs> that's okay with you <laughs> well you know i think it's time to move on yeah. all right now tell me about storytone uh storytone is a record of uh, uh new songs yeah. um that are orchestral well, it's an orchestral record of sorts, and also a big band record. There's yeah. some big band things on it, uh, and that's pretty exciting for me because, you know, uh, I, I, I've never done anything like that before. And plus, on this record, I only played harmonica. I didn't play a guitar or a yeah. piano. Uh, when I played with the orchestra or the big band, I just stood there like Frank Sinatra or somebody with a big microphone and sang, I mean, like that video showed. And, um, and I found that singing that way was uh, a very free experience without having to think about anything else, you know, not thinking about my chord changes or the rhythm or how I was singing against the guitar or the piano or I'm in kind of a mediocre piano player, so I really have to think about some of my chords and if I'm going to hit the right ones, always on my mind. So if I don't have any of that to think about, then I'm thinking, wow, hey, I got an orchestra. Hey, a 92 piece orchestra, yeah, by the way. 60 instruments and 32 voices yeah. for a couple of the songs for like three or four of the songs were that big and then the other ones are there was a 50 about a 50 piece uh brass band for one of the songs you know what is this thing that you have which is which you want to revolutionize digital music pono pono pono, pono is the hawaiian word for righteous yeah the one yeah so what pono. is pono uh it is just a little player and a huge uh, uh, ecosystem supported by the player called yeah. Pono World yeah. and you go to this place and you have uh, right now we're still ingesting tracks and we'll be ingesting them for months but we're at about um, go, going towards a million and a half tracks right now yeah. in our library of high-res music and and uh, these are all the songs that everybody knows and and except now that you can hear all of it instead of just a small percentage of it which the MP3 is is capable of producing. I mean, you think digital music has done what to music? Well, it's, it's certainly made it into a uh, content. Yeah. So it's content now. It's not music. It's content. <laughs> when, uh, uh, you know, and it's a cons it's consumer content. Yeah. So in music, when I was playing.